guys, welcome to Stargirl TV, your resident Stargirl correspondent, Ilea here. Today we're going to be talking about resumes. What, what? There's a lot of general debate around what a resume should look like because there's not a specific format that you just learn in school that you like have to follow. This is what happens when you make your own shirts and you didn't do a very good job. Basically the way that I learned how to format my resume was like asking other people that I knew who had resumes and like looking at all of them and just trying to figure out what I wanted mine to look like. Not to mention you're gonna have a very different resume if you're gonna be applying to be a CEO. That's a job you can just apply for, right? But an acting resume looks very different. It looks kind of like this. Hashtag, you're welcome. Stapled on the back of a headshot. You just need two staples. You don't need four. Save your staples. Name, union affiliation. If you're not union, don't worry about it. Personal contact information, like how to get a hold of you. You don't want to go to an audition and they're like, oh, we love this girl. We have to cast her. Um, how do we get in touch with her? I don't know. I don't have her phone number. You should also have your agent's contact info on here if you have an agent. This is an old resume. Normally like your name and info would go on one side and then your agent's info would go on the other side. This is just the stuff that you've been in. Break it down, film and TV, theater, commercials. Seeing this thing that a lot of people are starting to do where like under the commercial section, they're like available upon request. No, like let them know what commercials you've been in. They're gonna wanna know. Don't make them request it. And until you get a lot of credits, the most important part of your resume is gonna be this section right down here. Training, training. Let me say that one more time, training. Until you have credits, people are gonna wanna know that you are working your craft because if you have a resume that has no credits and no training, they're gonna be like, how do I know this person can act? We don't know, so forget it. You wanna break that down to acting training, singing, vocal, dialect training, um, movement, like dance and stuff, I'm told is a kind of movement. Improv, and include the names of your teachers on here too, because you never know who knows who in the industry. You took an acting class with Patrick Day? I took an acting class with Patrick Day. No way, we should totally work together. You never know if that might happen. And another important part to include in your resume is special skills. Casting directors will often look at the special skills in order to find a conversation starter. Oh, you played Quidditch. Tell me about that. Yes, I was the captain of my Quidditch team in college. That's something to brag about, right? That's where you can put like anything that you can do that doesn't really fit into any of the other categories. Let's say you're a really good tie dyer. You know what? That's a bad example. Let's say you're ambidextrous, or if you speak any languages fluently, put that in your special skills, plunk it right down in there. And if you're ever in doubt about how to format your resume and what to put on there, never underestimate the power of Googling acting resume. For plays, you'll want to say uh, what your character is, right? Because plays are readily available. People tend to know them. Like, let's say that you're in A Midsummer Night's Dream and you played... I can't think of any of the women's names in A Midsummer Night's Dream. Titania! Let's say you played Titania in A Midsummer Night's Dream. People are going to know what that means. But if you played Sarah in some indie movie that nobody's ever seen, they're not going to know how big that role was. For plays, you put the name of your character and then put who it was directed by. And for movies, you're gonna just say how big your role was. If you were a lead or a supporting character, and then the production company and the director. Resumes, am I right? I know, I was thinking the same thing. My dream role would have to be playing Peter Pan on stage. Tell us what your dream role is. Thank you so much for watching Stargirl TV. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.